Ever wondered how solar panels work, how they convert sunlight into electricity? Well, let's dive into the fascinating world of solar energy. Solar panels are like magic carpets, capturing the sun's rays and turning them into a stream of electrons that power our homes and appliances. But this isn't a tale of magic, it's a story of science. At the heart of this process is something called the photovoltaic effect, which sounds complicated, but it's really just a fancy way of saying that when sunlight hits certain materials like silicon, they generate an electrical charge. Imagine you're a silicon atom in a solar panel basking in the sunlight. As the light hits you, you get so excited that you start spewing out electrons. These electrons are then captured and channeled into wires, creating an electrical current that can be used to power anything from a light bulb to an entire house. So in essence, solar panels work by converting sunlight directly into electricity. Let's delve deeper into the science of how solar panels work. To unravel this mystery, we first need to journey to the heart of our solar system, the Sun. Here, an extraordinary process known as nuclear fusion is constantly at play. In the Sun's core, under extreme temperatures and pressure, protons, which are essentially hydrogen atoms, collide and fuse to create helium. This process emits a colossal amount of energy, along with more protons. Can you imagine the scale of this reaction? It's happening non-stop producing over 500 million tons of hydrogen atoms every single second. Now picture the Sun's core, the hottest part, simmering at around 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. This core is a powerhouse, relentlessly emitting vast amounts of energy in the form of electromagnetic radiation, or EMR. EMR exists in many forms, from radio waves to gamma rays, and the Sun produces all types of EMR. But how does this EMR reach us here on Earth? It's carried by tiny particles of light known as photons. Picture photons as diligent postmen delivering the sun's energy to us over a distance of about 93 million miles. These photons travel at the speed of light, taking around 8 minutes and 20 seconds to complete their journey from the sun to Earth. When these photons reach us, they interact with everything they touch, including solar panels. Solar panels are designed to tap into the energy carried by these photons, turning it into usable electricity. This is where the magic happens, and this magic has a name, the photovoltaic effect. The photovoltaic effect is a process where certain materials, known as semiconductors, generate an electric current when exposed to sunlight. The most commonly used semiconductor in solar panels is silicon, a non-metal element that's perfectly suited to absorb and convert sunlight into electricity. These photons, then, are the key players in the generation of solar electricity. Now, how does a solar panel capture these photons to generate electricity? Let's dive into the heart of the matter, solar cells and the photovoltaic effect. Solar cells are typically made from silicon, a semiconductor that can generate electricity when exposed to sunlight. This is where the magic happens, where the photovoltaic effect comes into play. First discovered in 1839 by Edmund Becquerel, the photovoltaic effect is a characteristic of certain materials that allows them to generate an electric current when illuminated. So, how does this work? When sunlight, composed of particles called photons, hits the solar cell, it energizes the electrons in the silicon atoms. This energy knocks the electrons free from their atoms, setting them in motion. This movement of electrons is what we call electricity. But wait, we're not done yet. This flow of electricity needs to be captured and directed to be of any use. That's where the solar panel's design comes into play. Each solar cell is connected to its neighbors by a conductive material, usually metal. This creates a pathway for the free electrons, guiding their flow and creating a usable electric current. The electricity generated at this point is direct current, or DC. But most of our home appliances use alternating current, or AC. That's where a device called a solar inverter comes in. It converts the DC electricity produced by the solar cells into AC electricity that can be used in our homes. As you can see, the process is quite complex, but the underlying principle is simple. Sunlight gives energy to electrons, the electrons move, and this movement is captured and converted into electricity. It's a beautiful symphony of physics and engineering that takes place every time the sun shines on a solar panel. So each solar cell is like a mini power plant. 
generating electricity from sunlight. Each one harnessing the power of the sun to light up our lives in a sustainable and renewable way. The photovoltaic effect is the heart of solar technology, but how does it work in detail? Let's dive in. The photovoltaic effect is a process that occurs in three key steps. Firstly, sunlight, composed of tiny energy particles called photons, strikes the surface of a solar cell. Each photon carries a certain amount of energy, which can be absorbed by electrons in the cell. When a photon is absorbed, its energy is transferred to an electron, giving it enough energy to move. This is the first step, and it sets the electrons in motion. Now, these electrons don't just move randomly, they are channeled in a specific direction due to the unique structure of the solar cell. This brings us to the second step. The solar cell is made up of two layers of silicon, a semiconductor material. These layers are doped with other elements to create a positive layer, which has a deficiency of electrons, and a negative layer, which has an excess of electrons. When sunlight hits the cell, the energized electrons move from the negative layer to the positive layer. This movement of electrons creates an electric current. The third and final step involves capturing this electric current and converting it into a form we can use. This is where metal plates and wires come into play. They are strategically placed around the cell to capture the flow of electrons. The current is then directed through an inverter, which converts the direct current into alternating current. This alternating current is what powers our homes and appliances. It's fascinating, isn't it? The simple act of sunlight hitting a solar cell sets off this intricate chain of events, all leading to the generation of electricity. It's a testament to the power of natural resources and the ingenuity of human innovation. So, in the end, it's all about capturing and directing this energetic dance of electrons. So, let's recap. We've journeyed from the core of the sun, where nuclear fusion reactions create protons, to your rooftop, where solar panels convert those protons into usable electricity. This is all possible due to the photovoltaic effect, a process first discovered in 1839 by Edmund Becquerel. This effect allows semiconductors like silicon, the primary component of solar cells, to generate an electric current when exposed to sunlight. As sunlight hits the solar cells, electrons are energized, setting them in motion and creating an electrical current. This flow of electrons is captured by metal plates and wires and transformed into a form of electricity that can power your home and appliances. Solar panels are thus a marvel of modern science, converting the sun's energy into a renewable resource that powers our lives. And that's how solar panels work, harnessing the power of the sun to light up our lives.